Hi, I'm Rachel Storm. Welcome to RTVF 171 training module for the broadcast pick switcher. In a television or video studio, the switcher is used to switch between cameras. It is also used to switch in pre-recorded video, graphics, as well as adding CG, transitions, and other effects during a video production. In order to start the switcher, you use the mouse and double click on the broadcast picks icon. This will start the application. To load a show, you go to the file menu and select load show. Now we're ready to begin operating the switcher. The switcher console is divided into five general sections, source control, transition FX controls, direct key controls, picks pad, and assignable controls. In source control areas, there are two rows of buttons, one to preview the source and one to send the source directly to program. To select a source to preview, simply press the corresponding preview button. The source will then appear on the preview monitor. To place a source directly to program, press one of the program buttons. The same source video will now appear on the program or on air monitor. Now using these buttons, let's go through some of the actions that you operating the switcher as a technical director would do. To start with color bars, you can select the corresponding button in the preview row. When ready to take bars, you simply press the cut button. The bars then appear on the program monitor. To ready black, press the corresponding button in the preview row. When ready to take black, press the cut button. Then black replaces the color bars on the program. To take the slate, simply press the slate button in the direct keys area. The slate will then go to program. To clear the slate from program, press the same direct key again. The slate will be cleared. You select the slate graphic in the picks pad, but we'll get to that later. Now, if you want to perform a fade in, you select the source you want in the preview row. In this case, we'll select camera two. The camera two feed will then appear in the preview. Next, press the mix button. And when you're ready to fade in the source, press the auto trans button and the source will automatically fade up in the program monitor. You can also use the fader bar to perform a manual transition. As you move the fader, the transition takes place. To make straight cuts from camera to camera, you select the camera in the preview row. The camera feed will then appear in the preview. Then press the cut button. The camera feed will then cut to the program monitor. Now we will introduce you to the picks pad. This section of the switcher allows you to pick and choose between different graphics, clips, and wipes, which you insert into the production. For example, let's insert some CG into the screen. At the top right corner of the switcher, press the CG or character generator button. Next, take a look at the picks pad and push the button that references the graphic that you need for the program. This source will then show up in the program row. When you want to take this graphic, press the corresponding program button. The graphic then appears on the program. To clear the graphic, press the same button again. The graphic is then cleared from the program. If you want to insert a pre-recorded video or clip into program, simply press the clip button on the top right corner of the switcher. Next, go to the picks pad and push the button that references the clip that you need for your program. The clip will then show up in the program button row. To preview the clip, press the corresponding button in the preview row. The clip will appear in the preview. When ready to take the clip, press the cut button. The clip will then be cut to the program. Now, if you want to perform a wipe from one camera to the next, you must first select the wipe button, which is the button right next to the mix button. From the picks pad, choose one of the many available wipes. We'll choose the first wipe. 
When you're ready to perform the wipe, press the auto trans button and the source will automatically transition to the program monitor. You can also control the wipe manually. Instead of pushing the auto trans button, use the fader to perform the transition. The wipe will then be executed as you move the fader. Now, to fade out of the program, or fade to black, simply ready black by pressing the corresponding button in the preview row. Black will then appear in preview. Then, with the mix button depressed, press the auto trans button. This will then automatically fade the program to black. You can, of course, also perform this manually with the fader. This concludes the training module for Broadcast Pitch Switcher. You can also find more information and even a switcher demo on broadcastpix.com. I'm Rachel Storm for RTVF 171. Thank you.